Eric. There we go. There we go. Dude, I, I like forgot. I forgot how to request to be in someone's live uh, video on Instagram. I was like, sh- I just texted you. I was like, oh shit, how do I do this again? <laughs> All good, man. You're in now. How's it feel? How's it go? All right. Yeah, you look good, man. Can you hear me okay? You too, man. Yeah, I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great now that the, uh, you know, things are starting to let up a bit. You know, I, heard, I got the word spy bars opening this weekend, right? Does that mean the floodgates I, are open? I heard about that. Is that is that true? Is that true? Because uh, I, I got a couple texts about that actually like this morning. I like, woke up to a couple texts from a few buddies being like, yo, is Spy open this weekend? I was, like, <laughs> I, I was like, I hope, man. I hope. That would be amazing. Spy has so, such a dedicated following. It's amazing, dude. That's that's awesome, man. I that saw Marty. Awesome. He posted. He was turning on the amp, so they were doing sound check of some sort, and I've seen a, yeah. a few people on social media post about it, but I'm, I'm actually in Indiana right now, so I won't be able to be there regardless. But oh, yeah, man. phase four is going down, right? Dude, I'm excited. I'm excited. Are you uh, visiting your parents, or what are, you, uh, what are you doing out there? Yeah, I'm in Indiana right now, just coming nice. here for the week. I'm going to a lake house with my family this weekend. Just getting out of Chicago for a little bit, man. It was a crazy time, of course. I moved, actually, the day of the riots, and then you know I live in the loop. And stayed in the loop, and it was just crazy. So I was like looking to get out of the city, man, bad. I saw your, uh, I, I think I saw your video like the day of the riots, and it was like they wouldn't let you back into your, to your, to your place, and like you couldn't go to your, like couldn't go to your place, like the day you moved in or something like that, right? Eric, it was full on Gotham <laughs> City, man. Like literally Batman Begins shit. It was, it was unbelievable. But I mean, I'll remember it forever. But it was crazy. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't get into my new apartment. I had to go stay at my buddy's house who lived in the loop. Thankfully, he was there. But yeah, it was next level, really. But gosh, oh my god, I know it was wild, dude. But how have you been? I've been good, man. I've been good. Just trying to trying to stay busy despite uh, despite everything. You know, can't can't DJ, so you gotta <laughs> gotta find other things to do at the like at, at times like these, man. You know, it's it, it's ridiculous, but um, but yeah. yeah, like I've adapted. I mean, life is life's been different, but um, I've been staying productive. I've been, you know, um, learn new things about myself and uh, and trying to pick up new hobbies and uh, yeah, you know, making a ton of music, a ton of music, which is uh, I think the best thing about all this, you know. I'm really so, excited to hear what you've got, man. I mean, you have been DJing a little bit though. You've been doing these rooftop sessions or what? I'm not, with Nate though, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, me and Nate and, uh, and Jamal, um, two of my buddies, we've been doing, like, a lot of, it, like, just been trying to scout out, like, you know, which one of our friends has a cool place and if they're down to do a live stream, and, <laughs> and, and, and you know, like, so, so how good is your backdrop, you know, as right. opposed to uh, the one we've done before, so we've, we've been fortunate enough to find a couple of really cool locations, um, and I think we're going to do, not, like, another one this Friday, so I'm excited to see that, if, uh, if it actually does materialize, you know? Yeah, that's awesome, man, dude. You know what? It's actually been, it's kind of been weird. Like I've been putting myself mentally in a place like, you know, maybe like a year or so before you go to college where like you're still under your parents' rules and regulations. You can't go out to festivals. You can't drink yet, but you're spending real quality time with your friends that you like hanging out with the most, right? Exactly. It's, it's, it's kind of true, man. It's kind of true. It's like, you know, um, it's so funny because like typically, you know, people our age are just, you know, in Chicago, it's like, you know, you start at a house party and everyone's pre-gaming and then you go out and everything else and it feels exactly like that except you yes. just never go out, you know? <laughs> like, yeah. you just, like, you, like you just say that the whole time. Like we were joking about that the other night. It's like, it's the it's the infinite pre-game that never ends, you know? It is the infinite pre-game. Maybe it's the best possible scenario because I'm a big fan of the pre-game. Yeah, oh, so I, I love the pre-game. I love the pre-game, <laughs> you know? And, uh, you know, just can't, just can't go too hard at the pre-game. I've done that in handful of times i'm sure everybody has and i'll uh, never ner- i'll great. never learn my lesson because i i have too much fun at the pregame, man that's when you get to catch up with everybody that's it's you're, it's, too, you're too excited for the for the night the night to come you know it's just uh just how it's just how how it usually goes you're you're amped and then all of a sudden you're you're a little too amped and you're you get to the function and you're just just uh just too turned up man yeah you know, you know how it goes brother but yeah um dude how how are you and uh samantha you, did you get a new dog uh, t- speaking of him, he's actually like begging to come to come up and say hi. Oh, come on, come yes. Because, there yeah, this, he is. This is, this is Red. He was down there, looks like begging me to to, uh, to pick him up. So it's just him. He's not new. Uh, we've had him for like three years now. But um, that's what I thought. He's yeah. been, been posting about him all the time just because there's, you know, you know, like you got time to take videos of your dog now. You know what I mean? It's, Eric, that's it's good content, good, man. We want know? more dorgies, right? Yeah. <laughs> say what's up, Red. Say what's up. What up, Red? Yeah, Sam, what up, Red? <laughs> See? Say hi to him right there. So I had him right there. Yeah, he's a dorgy. He's a half half dachshund, half corgi. Sam made made him his own Instagram page, so he's getting pretty pretty famous. 
Wow. It's kind of funny when like your do- like your dog has like a third of the followers that you oh. do on Instagram. You know what I mean, people just love animals so it's, much. It's a bit. So. It's it's like it's humbling, <laughs> isn't it? It is. It is. It's funny, man. So. People love the simple things in life, man. They absolutely do, you know. So, the more animals, the better. That's the way I usually uh, <laughs> usually look at it, man. You know? Dude, so, so you've been working on music though, Eric? Yes, a ton of music. Um, I've probably made somewhere in the vicinity of like seven seven tracks completed. Uh, wow! Since, since the start of quarantine, and that's that's a lot for me. I mean, you know, some people have that talent where they can go and make you know a track a day or a track every couple of days. I, I just um, you know I need more time than that. It's just like I I just I tend to mess with like little things too much, and it's my probably my biggest downfall as a producer. But um, yeah, man, I, I think seven tracks in a couple months is pretty pretty solid for me, at least. You know, absolutely, so, man. I mean, you've got yeah. process, and I, I know how particular you are about your tracks. I saw you've got one finish with our boy Ryan out in San Diego, right? Rhythmic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me and Rhythmic, uh, we're actually shopping that around to a couple labels now. Um, we've gotten some solid responses, but we're still waiting for a few. A few um, of the labels that we really wanted, so um, you know, hopefully that that will you know stir up some, some like you know some kind of uh, a good thing with somebody, you know. Yeah, is, so, he, in Lo- is he in Logic too? Uh, he's not in Logic. He's in Ableton. So um, I actually went to his house before he moved for a couple sessions, and oh, okay, um, cool. you know, so we just worked in Ableton and made that one in Ableton. I I've, I've really been trying to trying to pick up Ableton, and um, you know, since a lot of people learned that that I collaborate with and everything else, and I'm a big logic guy Eric, yeah. don't leave yeah. me and flynn bro we need you. yeah hey hey trust me man Lo- logic forever like i'm not gonna quit it okay it's okay just, good it's it's good to be versatile in both you know uh, yeah people tend to like that what the free 90 day trial i want to say during during uh you know the beginning of quarantine so i picked it up a lot then i just kind of trying to at least be proficient in it you know like i don't want to yeah. totally switch over or anything but i think it's 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 good to know both especially for for collaboration purposes and other artists oh you may want to work with. I mean, you know? so, so many music producers are in Ableton, but you know, one that comes to mind actually that is, I would say, like you said, proficient, somebody like uh, Latman, you know, he uses Logic primarily, but he also does a lot of preset loading and other yes. instruments in Ableton and really uses them both to the best of their ability. Are you trying to learn Lat- stuff like that? Lemon's great, man. Yeah, yeah. Just, just, just pretty much anything I can do to to not have to sit there when somebody is working on Ableton and have, like have to sit in like like we call it the passenger seat. You know what I'm saying? Like I want to be able to drive also. So because yep. logic, I'll be the driver all day. But then you know we switch to Ableton and I'm kind of like, well, I, I know what I want to do and how to get my ideas out, but I can't physically touch the keyboard to make it happen because yeah. I don't know I don't know where everything is. I'm I'm still kind of slow in it, but it's but it's it's picking up, you know, which is good. Yeah. So good for you. So man. yeah, man. That's awesome. Um, I mean, this has been this has been a time where I think whether you're in music or not, or really any sort of field, you're crossing off boxes that we haven't had time to do before. You know what I mean? I agree. I agree. It's it's good to have a lot of time on your hands sometimes. You know, I guess this would be a, uh, a perfect perfect example of that. You know? Yeah, but it's 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 like while there's been like a lot of you know, of course, festival season is really pretty much done and uh, all the shows that you know we i think i feel like you and i both had a lot lined up this year but i think the important thing to realize is nobody is getting a head start now right like no one else is like well i guess maybe people like us are getting a head start is the best way to put it but no one's i don't feel like i'm on the bench and watching everybody else true it's very true just because everybody's on the bench you know that's 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 the main thing i want i watched your video about this and it's uh it's it was very well put i have to say because it's like you know it's uh and i i'm sure you felt the same way but when everything first kind of hit i i was almost and i've i'm not a depressed person i'm usually always happy man but i was i was a little bit depressed i'm not gonna lie like they're like like those first two weeks i was like what like what are we gonna do you know what i mean i was like, like what's going on and then um yeah you just you just learn to accept it, which I which I have now. You know, if we got to take a year off and, and better ourselves, and um, you know, uh, what's what's the word I'm looking for? Um, just just you know, just make ourselves better in every way as DJs and as producers and everything else. If that's the case, then then that's what we got to do. And yeah. um, I'm excited to see everybody come back stronger than ever. Hopefully, you know. Yeah, I, I really think you know I've I've been doing a lot of these you know Sherm spotlights and of course continuing the podcast. And a question, of course, I'm asking is how do you think coronavirus is going to affect the music industry and one thing's for certain only the strong will survive and an even deeper level of that is the people who only truly love it are going to continue this because for people like us that really love what we're doing you know we're not doing this 
to get big fast, right? Like we genuinely enjoy doing this. So a year is going to go by fast for us, but a year doesn't go by fast for people who aren't really in it for the right reasons. So I agree. I agree. Where there's some darkness, people, there's light. Some people who are only in it for the for the uh, for the spotlight and the girls and everything else are gonna are gonna have a really really long year, you know, just because I feel like um you know those those may or may not be the people who are just strictly DJing just to be the ones in the spotlight and aren't really doing anything behind the scenes, and you know when, when they don't have that that energy, you know, coming in towards them, they're gonna they're gonna move on and try something else. You know, like I, I have a feeling I really do have a feeling that you're gonna see a lot of DJs um, kind of get out of the game after this, to be honest. So I agree, man. Make room for the guys with yeah. the girlfriends and the dorgies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Dude, so yeah. tell me about this remix you got coming out on Friday. Nick Fanchuli, uh, so, yeah, Save Label. So, awesome. Yeah, so I did a I did a remix for uh for Nick Fanchuli and uh Andrea Oliva um of their track transition. Mm -hmm. Um entered in the remix contest. Um it did not win unfortunately, but um I, I'm very proud of it. I think it came out uh, and, it, and it sounds awesome. So I'm putting it out for for free on Friday. Um, so I'll have that. Um, I'll have it up Friday morning. I'll be sure to share the link on my Instagram and all my socials, uh, everything else. But, um, Dude, but yeah, man, I'm super guys. excited. Like I actually just posted a uh, like a 15 second preview video on my like Facebook page, and I'll, I'll post it on Instagram after this in case anybody wants to uh, wants to check it out. But yeah, it's my first uh, it's my first uh, new release in in a couple months, man. So like kind of kind of just about since the beginning of quarantine so first yeah. first release out of these all, like all these new tracks that i have coming out so and what's it I'm been like for you that. uh eric creatively because of course it's tough right like for someone like you who produces music to play at festivals to play at clubs and now that not being an option do you feel like you maybe have gone a different way with your style or are you thinking about things differently in the studio um yeah, I mean, you know, like you gotta, you gotta think about it. Um, you know, like obviously, like you said, like you produce these tracks to play in the club, and the clubs aren't open. So now, so now it's like, you know, am I gonna, am I gonna play this on a live stream the rest of my life? Like, I, <laughs> like, I, like I hope not. Like, you know, like that kind of, that kind of like dump, dulls it down a little bit. If you ask me, it's yeah, like, it's true. you know, so, so it's just, it, it, like, it just makes you hope that much more that that the world comes back at least moderately to how it was, you know, and and. and and like you're not stuck DJing on live. I mean, I don't know about you. I'm just like I've seen these videos popping up in different countries of like these social distancing raves, and I, I just I just don't want anything to do with it. It, it, it just no. it just looks terrible to me. Like I'm sorry. Like I'm all for being safe and everything else, but oh, it looks so bad. It looks like you know that like everyone's dancing these little like six foot apart boxes, yeah. and I'm like oh, like super cringe, man. I'm it's super cringe. So <laughs> so yeah. So I I hope we aren't we aren't making music just to just to. Um, you know, play on, play on live streams and, and everything else. And we can actually get back to a point where you're in front of a crowd and people are vibing and you're, you're feeding off the energy of that crowd. That's, that's, that's all I can really hope for now, you know? Yeah. And if we got to wait till next year to make it happen, then that's what we have to do. You know, stay in the studio, make your music, come out a better, a better individual, a better producer. That's, yeah. that's just kind of the, the idea right now. Absolutely. What, what's kind of your opinion on, I guess there's two sides of the coin right now and we'll just stick to the music industry and producers, right? There are a lot of people who are maybe are saying, I have one of the best tracks I've ever made, if not the best at this point in my career. It's a summer anthem. I could have released it two months ago, or it's a festival track or something like that, right? I'm going to wait till next year. And there are people who are on the flip side of the coin, someone as notable as uh, Claude Von Stroke saying, put it out, keep making music. What's kind of your mental space in regards to that topic? Um, I, th I think that, um, you know, just for when like say you finish a track and you sign it, there's a lot of times where it's, it's not going to get released for, you know, six months to a year anyways. Like I, like I actually have a track that I signed, I signed the record deal, um, in 2019 and it's still not out, you know? So <laughs> I don't, I don't really think there's ever like a, a, a correct time to put music out just because, you know, it, it'll be a summer anthem. So I have to put it out in the summer. I, like, I don't really think that's, that's how it works. It's just a matter of if it's, if it's a good track and the vibes are good, I don't really think that you have to really, you know, be bummed about it not coming out when you wanted it to come out yep. you know so i agree i wholeheartedly yeah. agree because to me once the song is out you never know when it's going to get steam right like i think it's important to be honest with you know what stage you might be at in a career right like unless you're calvin harris and you might have a summer anthem that truly is a summer anthem anthem right like if it's slide i probably wouldn't release that on new year's eve that's a yeah, you know, yeah. summer track, but the realistic <laughs> thing true, is you never know when a song is going to catch fire after the fact. So I'm right there with it's you true. where the more... Dude, there's, there's, a lot of, 
Yeah, there's a lot of tracks that got discovered after, you know, six months of being out. Like, it just didn't didn't take off until that long. Absolutely. You know? so, and you never know, too, better. like, let's be honest, there are other hemispheres in the world, right? Because sometimes yeah. it's summer in other places, too, and it might hit there. But It's very true. Yeah, I, I'm right there with you. And I think kind of from a producer standpoint, you know, in the beginning, I really was lacking creativity. And, um, you know, you probably have noticed I put a lot more effort into the actual Sherm brand, the Sherman Booth brand, and all Which that Which is stuff. awesome, man. Yeah, I appreciate that, that's man, and I'm having fun awesome. with that. Yeah, like I'm loving the new logo and the new and the new style, and I think the uh, I think the pot the you know I think you know despite the quarantine and you not be being able to do the interviews in person, I think it's still working out for you, man. Like 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 you've been killing it every week. It's, yeah, uh, you know, there's more. I've been to, trying to tune in whenever I can, you know. Yeah, there's more to talk about than ever before, man, and it's pretty great too because everybody doesn't have an excuse to say I don't have the time I know you, you got ammo now right <laughs> exactly man and that's why I love talking with people like you because you know I had you on the podcast you know I think it was over a year ago for sure and it's just been so awesome seeing your progression man and I really do dude I miss seeing you live so badly I watched that pretty I much that whole Randall Dean stream bro dude, that was a lot of fun that was, that was cool that was cool last week he uh he had the whole uh the whole, you know, sun, Chicago sunset in the background. Yeah, how was it? I'm doing it in a few, I'm doing it next month. I, I saw you were doing it, dude. It's like, like, it's a really good time. He's got a cool, like, he's one of the people who really invested in, in the whole, like, you know, um, let's just call it like a Corona, coronavirus setup. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he has all these, <laughs> all these, all these multiple camera angles and, um, and you know, different like different cameras going off on certain uh, you know like every twenty seconds it switches like to this one, and that one, and everything else. And like he was telling me about how it all worked, and I was like, it's it's impressive, man. So it's a cool little setup, and uh, like I, I I definitely think you'll have a good time uh, doing yeah. it. You know? It's it's cool, and, so. and shout out to people like Randall, right? That um, are taking this to the fullest of their advantage, right? Like you're producing, you've re- you know, you've got seven tracks ready to rock. That's incredible, man. And I don't want to make it seem like I'm harping on people that maybe aren't able to find creativity right now or aren't able to work hard because I understand yeah. it's different for everybody. But for those that maybe are on our, our side of it, um, I think it's a great opportunity to find new sides of your creativity to figure out what can I do? Like, how can I actually invest more in myself, more in my own brand? Because with gigs out of the way, I mean, how crazy is it, Eric? Like, you've been doing this for a long time, man. Like, with no shows on your plate, right? Like, what changed for you mentally, if you can explain it, like, from an emotional standpoint? I mean, at first, at first, I was kind of kind of hopeless, man. I, 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 told, I told Sam, I told my girlfriend, and I was like, what am I going to do? I, I've, I've invested the past 11 years of my life in, like, like into this, and this is what I've been doing. And, and you're and on a roll sudden, with like, live shows, man. Like, of course, like, Easter, yeah. like, this is going to be a big summer for you. Yeah, man, I, I had a I had a ton of stuff planned in, in in the books that just like it it's it's a pretty depressing feeling just seeing your whole like calendar. <laughs> yeah, sorry, and I didn't mean to yanked out from under you. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, yeah, it, yeah. It, was, it was like that's that's an indescribable you know indescribable feeling, and it's um, you kind of just have to try to stay. What up, uh, Apollo? Try to stay grounded. And, and, what's up, Apollo? Yeah, and then uh, try to stay grounded, man, and just try to like stay sane. I mean. You know, just going back to the creativity thing, you know, like, um, like I said, the first two weeks, man, I, I felt myself like for the first time in my life, like I felt like depressed and I was really like down and everything else. And I just didn't, you know, didn't know what I was going to do. And then, um, the important part is being able to climb out of that, you know what I mean? Just, just climb out of that and, and try to try to search for inspiration in, in, in different parts of your life. You know, like, like if you're a DJ and you really, you know, and you're, that like you live and breathe the DJ life, um, and all of a sudden it's gone, like. Yeah. You know, take up a different hobby, search, you know, go outside, search for different things to, to inspire you. And, you know, no, nobody should, nobody should feel bad if they, if they haven't been creative the whole time, because I'll tell you like for, for, for a while, like I, like I wasn't, man, those first few weeks, I was just Same. like, I was very, very, very down on myself. And, um, you know, <laughs> thinking about what I was going to do next. Like, like I actually even applied to a few, to a few like day jobs and full time jobs. And I was like, dude, I, I haven't done this in like 10 years. <laughs> yeah. Just, I mean, just because, just because man, like it's like nobody knew how severe it was going to get. So I wanted to be, you know, kind of like more like, I guess like get ahead if that was the case and I was going to have to go back to work full time or something, you know? For so, sure. Absolutely. Man. Yeah. And, and I agree with so, you, man. Like you don't ever, I think, especially from producer's perspective, if you ever go into the studio, whether it be unmotivated or uninspired, it's pretty damn likely you're not going to come out with anything. In fact, you're probably going to sit there and, and, and slack off or whatever it might be. So 
Maybe yeah. it's been an opportunity, like I said in the video that you mentioned, an opportunity for guys. It doesn't matter if you're big or small, too. That's probably something I wanted to note afterwards is this is an opportunity for you to take a good look at who you want to be. Yes. Because you don't have to feel like, man, I got to keep running fast because there's other guys who are running faster right now, right? Like that's the whole idea of everybody's on the bench is it's like, all right, we're all in the off season, man. We got everybody gets a year off to do however you want to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's 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 true, man. And 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 you gotta you gotta just use that time as wisely as you can. It's like, you know, a lot of times you see yourself. Um, you know, let's just go back to when to when things are normal. A lot of times you see yourself. You know, you might have a couple months where you're doing really well and you're getting all these good shows, and you know things are going great for you. And then you might have a couple months where it's almost like a good dry spell. And then like you know, I'm sure everyone's kind of had those dry spells. Yeah. And, I've, I've, I've had them, everyone's had them, and, you know, all of a sudden you go, you know, you get down on yourself and you're looking at everybody being like, why, why, why is this happening to them and not me? And now it's, yeah. it's time, like, nobody has anything. So, like, use that as a thing, and, you know, like, like as a sense of, like, like, get, like, get off social media and, 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 you know, invest in yourself. Like, like, that's what you got to do in this time, I feel like, you know, like, totally. there's no, there's, I mean, there's always going to be competition, but there's, in, like, in a sense, there's no competition right now. Everyone's on the bench, like you said, so. Exactly. And the that's, comp- that's a good way to look at it, I think, you know. For sure. And, and that's the thing is, that's why I'm actually on the more, on the other side of motivated is because I'm like, well, this is actually that chance to keep doing what I'm doing and not feeling like I have to do 10 different things. And, you know, for those that aren't DJs, being a DJ is not just being a DJ, man. There's the music management. There's the research. There's getting better at DJing. There's playing different types wow. of gigs. There's trying to get your name out there to different types of promoters. There's social media. There's networking. You know. Yeah, it's there's a, there's a million things, man, and that and that's and that's the that's the funny part, you know, about when people are like, oh, be, being a DJ is easy. It's <laughs> Not easy, man. I'm telling you right now. Yeah. It's like that, the like like the the iceberg, the iceberg diagram. You know what I mean? Like, yes. like this is what you see at the top, and then like, like everything else is underneath the ocean. It's I, you know, that's it's the perfect, it's the perfect, uh, perfect analogy for it. You, you know, should, you should put a meme out there, man. I love your memes, by the way. I, I I feel like I've seen that meme. That's why I brought it up. Like, <laughs> like, like, like otherwise, I would I would get right on social media right now and just post that up. You know. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, yeah. it's so accurate. It, it's a whole different world out there, and, and you really don't know about it until you've done it for, I would say, five plus years. I mean, like you said, man, you got over eleven years of experience in the game, and um, I truly, truly do miss your sets, and I cannot wait to hear your track come out live, man, and be there to support it. Um, and yeah, I'm excited I, to hear I, the music you've been working on, bro. If you can send some to me, I'd love to hear it. Yeah, I will, man. I will. I got a couple, a couple cool things coming up. Um, I got something else with Insomniac uh, on the way, which I'm excited about. Yes. Um, after the, you know, they they've kind of kept in touch with me after the whole Discovery Project thing. Which yeah. I'm, uh, amped about um, a couple other things. Yeah. Um, I just did a remix for uh, for Detlef, which I'm really excited about. Yes. Uh, yeah. So uh, that. Um, yeah, just I'll have I'll have more information on all this in the in the coming months, and maybe I can start start releasing some of it, man. So Eric, this this is why I want to catch up, man, because you, you are always on top of it, and I know that your music is gonna finally like it's been heard, and it's great to see. Just and I would say, really, you know, in the past two years, it's like pop for you, and it just goes to show that like years of hard work and fine tuning your craft and and finding that sonic identity. I mean, you've got a sound, Eric, and I cannot wait for everybody to hear about it. Like fly butter, like you know. <laughs> It's, it's happening, it, bro. It's happening, it. bro. And I want you, I want you to keep doing your thing, and I know you do too. And yeah, it's just so dope to see your success, man. Dude, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's um, you know things things are going things are going good despite everything, man. And um, yeah. you know anybody else who who is who is producing and who is um, you know not where they want to be yet, just keep going, man. I mean, it's it it took me to me eight years to even be re- remotely comfortable with how my stuff is sounding. So don't, don't think this shit happens overnight. It's, it doesn't, you know, like unless you're, unless you're uh, one of those few people that just is able to put in 12 hours a day every day, which I wish I could do, but my, my brain doesn't work like that, you know? So, those, those, those are special so yeah. people. They don't have dorgies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. He's, he's, he's still laying here begging to come up, but Hey, you know, yeah. <laughs> well, it was so good to catch up with you, man. I'm excited for the release on Friday. I'm actually probably going to re-release uh, parts of this interview on Friday too, just to give you a little more hype. Amazing, man. So yeah, it was sounds awesome good. to catch up with you. Say hey to Sam for me, and if you do Friday, I'll definitely tune in and say hey to Nate for me too. Okay. I will, man. I will. Much appreciated. Thanks for having me on, man. Great talking to you. Uh, take care of yourself, man. And maybe, uh, yeah, maybe 
maybe see you at Spy Bar one of these upcoming weekends, man. It'd be good to catch up, you know? So, I haven't heard that in a long somewhere. time. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah somebody, somebody let, like, let us know if that's actually going down because I, I haven't talked to him yet. But yes. I will let you know, and I'll text you, all right? All right, Eric. Sounds good, man. Thanks again, right, brother. Buddy. I'll talk to you soon. Good to see you, man. Take care. Peace, homie.